Hello folks, my name is Rob Machado for AOPA Live. I'm here at Orange County Flight Center at John Wayne Airport in Southern California, and we're about ready to enter the Flight Simulation Laboratory, and we're gonna do an experiment. And even if you don't fly experimental aircraft or an experimental simulator, if there is such a thing, I think you'll find this quite interesting. Follow me. Okay, we're gonna begin our experiment by taking off from John Wayne Airport in Southern California in this Cessna 172 at sea level under standard conditions. Now this means we'll have a very low density altitude. We'll climb out at 74 knots indicated. What we're looking for here is the climb attitude required to maintain 74 knots. It appears that to climb at this speed under low density altitude conditions, we need to maintain an attitude of approximately 12 degrees nose up. Now, let's do the same experiment from an airport with a density altitude closer to 8,000 feet. Since this is a non-turbocharged airplane, it is clear that we're taking a lot longer to accelerate to lift off speed, and I do mean a lot longer. Once we lift off, however, we're going to lower the nose and accelerate to 74 knots in ground effect. Then we'll determine the attitude necessary to maintain 74 knots in the climb. Okay, we're approaching 74 knots, so let's establish the attitude we need to maintain that climb speed, which looks to be about seven degrees nose up. The takeaway point here is that under high density altitude conditions, you'll need to climb at a slightly lower attitude to maintain the same climb airspeed you used at a lower density altitude airport. Now, the simplest explanation for the difference between these two climb attitudes is that at a lower density altitude, your airplane produces a great deal more thrust, which allows you to climb at a much steeper angle. At higher density altitudes, your engine produces much less thrust, which restricts you to a much shallower climb path. So folks, there you have it. When taking off at an airport at a high density altitude, if you want to climb out at the same speed you used at an airport at a low density altitude or under low density altitude conditions, you're going to have to use a much lower climb attitude. And one of the big problems that pilots make is, under high density altitude conditions, they tend to rotate to the same climb attitude they used at a low density altitude airport or an airport under low density altitude conditions. And you can imagine what that would do to your climb rate in that instance. I hope that's been uh, useful to you. My name is Rod Machado for AOPA Live.